Today we're going to be comparing four different ways to charge the Fujifilm X-T3. Some of these are better for photographers, some better for videographers, and some blur the line. Stick around to find out which one suits you best. My name's John Sparkman. I've been using the Fujifilm X-T3 since the beginning of 2018. Previously, I had a Canon 6D full frame, DSLR, magical little camera. Very heavy, very good battery life. Alongside that, I was using the Fujifilm X100S, the little range finder style camera with the built-in 23 millimeter lens. It was magnificent, but my main beef, my main problem, was the battery life. We can't get around the short battery life on mirrorless cameras, and for some making the jump, it can be a real sticking point. So today I'm collating my four tried and tested charging methods over the past two years with this camera. Uh, leave down in the comments below your preferred option or if you're already using one. So first up, we're talking batteries, and I mean buying lots of batteries. Fujifilm cameras take the NPW126 S batteries, uh, which are about 1200 milliamps each. Now the Fujifilm original batteries are about 50 to 60 pounds each, so you can see this would be a problem if you say have two mirrorless cameras like I do, and you do uh, long all day events like weddings, uh, where you need to switch between six or so batteries throughout the day. I've picked up a variety of different batteries off Amazon, but they've sent me back around 20 to 30 pounds for two, plus a charger, so a lot cheaper. These non-genuine batteries have a similar capacity. I think it's 1100 milliamps to the Fujifilm's 1200 milliamps. You're still gonna get around 400 photos in RAW per battery, or about half an hour of video recording which may be reduced if you're shooting something higher, like maybe 4K or in log or a higher bit rate. Now, buying a collection of batteries is probably great for the run and gun photographer, someone who just needs one battery in the chamber and wants to have the lightest possible kit they can, someone who's maybe only taking 100 or so shots in a, in, in a given event. But perhaps you'd like a bit more power, maybe you'd like to have the power of three batteries together. This is where the original Fujifilm VPB X-T3 portrait battery grip comes in handy. The battery grip is an extension of the camera. It fits right at the bottom, just where you put your kind of tripod plate usually. And you can fit two batteries in there. And on the side, if you rotate your camera sideways, you've got a collection of controls so you can shoot in a portrait orientation. Uh, this is things like a shutter button, a little joystick, got your aperture lock, you've got your scroll wheels, everything you would have on the normal top right hand side of your camera. This gives you three batteries, about a thousand plus shots, hour or so, maybe even hour and a half to two hours of video recording, all in one complete contained unit. Now I use this camera for weddings, so I have the grip on it all the time during those days, and I'll probably get from maybe 9am to about 5-6pm uh, on just this set of three batteries before I need to swap them out. Normally I'm swapping the batteries out and then charging a few more uh, during the, the dinner, the, the, the breakfast that you have at a wedding. There's one amazing benefit to the battery grip that comes from Fujifilm, and that is it can take a power inlet in the side. This will supply your camera with constant mains power, as if you just plugged it in just like you would with a computer behind me. Uh, and it doesn't deplete the batteries, in fact it charges them. This is a game changer, and this is actually what I'm doing right now. I have the Fujifilm up top, the battery grip just beneath, and a power cable running out the side. And I can see on my screen above me, my batteries are getting charged at the same time. This is fantastic, because I can just run off the same three batteries for the entire shoot, and I can shoot for hours and hours and hours, as long as my camera doesn't get too hot. Now if you've got the X-T3, and I'm sure you do if you're watching this video, you don't have a flippy out screen. So I'm using the Fearworld MA5 external monitor to just check reference. It's got an HDMI out, it's going just above my camera, and I can see myself clearly, I can do white balance, I can get the lighting just right. Now these Fearworld monitors have a power outlet, so you can actually tap the battery that's in your monitor and feed it into your camera. All you need to complete this setup is get a dummy battery, which I picked up on Amazon for about 10, 15 pounds. It's kind of got a, a coiled wire, 
with a power inlet at the top and on the other side it's got a battery shape uh, this you just put in as if it was a normal battery into your camera's single battery chamber so no using grips at this point it's just straight in the bottom the wire then feeds out it goes straight into the field world monitor this can be a game changer because the batteries on the field world have no uh, capacity constraints so you imagine that we can only fit a 1200 milliamp battery into the fujifilm because we have a, a set size kind of chamber we would put the battery in the field world's batteries uh, they just come out the back they're they're bas they're just clipped on basically and they can be as big as you want they use very commonly available canon uh, lpe6 batteries uh, which i used to have because of the uh the, the Canon 60 or the Sony MPF batteries. Now these are stupidly cheap and in plentiful sizes and styles. Now I've got two of them, the MP550s, which I think sent me back uh, 30 pound for two. And these are nearly 3000 milliamp each. Uh, so that's already two to three times the size of the Fujifilm batteries. Or if you want to go really over the top, you can get the NPF 970s, which are 8,800 milliamps each to power the entire thing. Because we don't have that constraint of size, we can just build the batteries outwards. I wouldn't really recommend using this setup for photographers, it's mainly videographers. Uh, just because it's kind of impractical, you have an extra wire hanging out, or well, in fact two wires, you've got the HDMI and the battery. Uh, it can get a bit cumbersome if you need to have quick agile movements, especially if you're going into portrait mode as a photographer. Now if you thought that having a 9000 milliamp battery was not giving you enough juice and you just wanted to go into the 20,000 milliamp range, uh, then we can utilize the USB-C port on the side of the camera itself and an external power pack. I've got a simple RAV Power uh, 16,000 milliamp battery uh, battery pack, and all I need to do is get a very cheap USB-A to USB-C charging cable, like the one I had with my GoPro, like the one that's connected to my computer just behind me, uh, and I can just literally put it in the side and it will start running as if it was on mains power. Now, although we have a huge battery, which cost us maybe 20, 30 pounds, uh, one you may already have because you're charging your phone with it, it's kind of just hanging there on the side of your camera. It's not very mobile at all. I have my power pack in like a string bag that I can just hang off the tripod. Uh, because my camera's not going anywhere, it's just stuck like this. It doesn't really put any strain on the cables. It doesn't damage the USB slot on this side of the camera. If you want to take this setup mobile, Companies like Smallrig have invented like a, a springy clamp, one you would put like a, a phone into if you're using a, a phone tripod, and you can screw that onto the side of like a rig. Now this isn't just a, a crafty workaround, Fujifilm actually recommends a lot of the anchor power banks, there's certain ones which have a faster delivery of power, plus the benefits of having it in your camera bag is you can just charge when you're not in use. You, If you're having some downtime with your uh, gear, you can just plug it in the side, and it will slowly charge up your camera's internal stored batteries. So there we have it, we have four different ways of charging your Fujifilm and running it either on mains or battery or external batteries or more batteries. If you have any objections, complaints, comments, criticisms, you know I'm all for it. I love to hear and I love the discourse that people make when using and utilising the very best camera gear. If you like my content, consider subscribing. I pretty much talk about Fujifilm gear most of the time, but I can sometimes sprinkle in a few other accessories and stuff. As always, stick around. I'll see you in a future video.